look who we got, <laughs> Lyndon Poskett. I told you he was coming. I'll be honest, I was waiting for episode 100. I'll get you back on for that then. Yeah. <laughs> you strike me as the type of person that when you set your mind on something, it's happening. This is what I'm like, right? We're already live. My mind is already thinking, is the camera working properly? Right, I'm literally, I'm going to check it. One second. This He's is only done this like. like five this times. Is, this is what it's like all the time. This is my life. Lyndon Poskett, couple of minutes, the floor's yours. What's your name? Where'd you come from? What'd you do? Try to explain it to people as jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. Uh, had a go at everything, <laughs> but I don't have many trophies. So, um, but I've had a bloody good time doing it. Dakar 2013 obviously was a, a bit of a it was a bit of a life changer, really, because um, mm. when you've achieved something like that uh, after years of riding motorcycles, the pinnacle is like to go to the Dakar Rally and stood on the yeah. podium in 2013 with my dad as my mechanic and uh, came back to work totally deflated. What's this the point is, now then? What, yeah. what now? And then I had an accident running a marathon. Went, started traveling around the world. My plan was to do it for a year to 18 months. So traveled around the world for five years, did every continent, um, 250,000 kilometers. Uh, did a race on every continent on the same bike. Uh, built my own bike to do it on. Uh, decided to settle in Spain and that's where I am now. Uh, and for all you listeners in the UK, I just had to put the air conditioning on before I came and sat here because it was, <laughs> it was a little bit hot. So what, is the, is the travelling over and done with or can you see? No, 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 no. There's some big plans in the future which involve travelling. Life is weird, man, isn't it? And I think when you travel the way that you've travelled, you, you sort of realise it, that life just has a... It's just got a way of, of throwing you these options, hasn't it? It's just these yeah. opportunities. and. Yeah. It's up to you if you want to grab them and what you want to make of them. And it just seems yeah. to be what's meant for you. Well, as a Scottish saying, what's meant for you won't go by you. Never, ever say, oh, I'll never be able to afford that. Or I'll never be able mm -hmm. to do that. I'll never yeah. say that. The universe listens to you. Like, you mm -hmm. have to be positive. And if you want to yeah. do something, you've got to make it happen. When I came back from Dakar 17, I knew what I did wrong. And that's why I went back mm -hmm. in 2018, because I just said, yeah. I know where I went wrong and I know I can do a lot better. It is brutal. You cannot, it's the hardest yeah. motorsport. They say it's the hardest motorsport event in the world. It's like, it's the most brutal thing. And in South America, it was like, I just, some of the terrain they put us through. I mean, it was just like, hello. Cast your mind back to the Africa Eco Race and Paolo Lucci illegal tire incident. Hmm. Did he ever apologise to you? It was his team that made the mistake and I think that showed because his team manager was the one that was like, well he was the one that was throwing punches and it just got out of hand it was crazy. Oh and I've seen who the next question is. Pete English. Yes, bring it Pete, come on. If someone give you a box full of every single item you'd ever lost what would be the first thing that you'd search for? Yeah, imagine if I found that bike because I was on your show. I would so buy That'd it. That'd be mega, like, wouldn't it? I don't want to say too much about it, but it was, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a moment where I honestly thought I was going to be killed, and that to me is like that was the biggest low because as mm -hmm. a grown man, I cried mm -hmm. because I thought it was over. Mm -hmm.